a neighbor of mine I lost her husband and he had been on an extremely large dose of medications. Some were psychotropic and she didn't know what to do with them. The pharmacies wouldn't take them back and she called me and she said, what can I do with them? And I had just heard about the county starting this program, so I said I would find out if we could have something like that for the town of Brighton. Okay, it is now five after one. The program is supposed to be from one to four. We now have six cars in line to, to drive up with their medications and I have two others plus myself at this point going to the to the windows of the cars they hand us their bags or, or boxes of medication and then we come back and we put them in the barrels that we have we get uh, we have these big barrels from the county and at the end of the day the barrels are sealed and they are taken up to Coventa or Covanta which is a place near Niagara Falls and they are incinerated. Everything in the barrel is incinerated. So we have nothing going into our water system, nothing going into our landfills. We are helping, we hope, to purify our earth. Uh, it was started by the DEA, uh, I believe is the ones that started the Department of Health combined initiative in order to keep the pharmaceuticals out of people's hands that they don't need to be in. Um, it, it gives us a way to reach out to the community and them a place to, to get it out rather than flush it down the toilet. Before this one, we keep thinking it's going to kind of wane off, but uh, people keep, when they clean out medicine cabinets of people who have died or, or they just don't want to take certain kinds or can't take certain kinds of drugs anymore, they, they just keep them in their medicine cabinet, um, don't know what to do with them. So it just keeps getting larger and larger. I decided that I had a lot of medicine that I don't like hanging around so I wanted to make sure that uh, it got handled the right way because there's some medicine that shouldn't get into the wrong hands and also we, it's nothing that we use anymore and I didn't want to flush it down the toilet because I like to be good to the earth because the earth has been good to me. Oh it is growing. I think we've got our biggest crowds uh, ever today. We've had a long line of cars uh, all afternoon since we opened. We usually have about 300 in the three or four hours that we're doing it. So we're almost close to that already and it's not even two o'clock. We've had uh, about a good half dozen walk-ins, some bicyclists as well. But uh, this afternoon, these afternoon hours seem to really make a difference. I think maybe people have got the idea from this morning and they're looking for another site. But mostly Brighton people, but people from all over the county. The national event is one of our bigger collections. Um, we, on a, we also have our own collections that we do once a month at the police department. Uh, those are usually on a smaller scale. It's during the day, most people are working. Uh, on the weekend, part of the national collection, we just offer drive through People don't even have to get out of their cars. They just come up, hand their pills out the window, their needles out the window, and we're able to collect them and take them off their hands and dispose of them safely. We are the most successful, we have been told by the county and by the DEA that we are one of the most successful programs in, well, in Monroe County for sure, but all of, and in Western New York. Um, we have the highest count, we have the highest efficiency rate, people don't have to wait. We have been one of the top producing agencies in the county uh, as far as pharmaceutical collection, and I believe she said that we're due to get an award for our service in that respect. Uh, we've got, I think, 18 barrels. Uh, that's where we arrived empty. And I, as last count, I, I see only two empties left. So they've got an absolute wall of drugs in there. 18,000 pounds, that's over six, ton, no, over nine tons. And obviously from the turnout here today, it's a very valuable service. Uh, people are coming in here uh, at an astounding rate. And uh, the last folks just pulled up from one of the uh, outreach facilities with expired drugs and they had their entire back seat filled up. I think they filled up one canister themselves. Uh, so there's a real need for this, uh, this kind of program, for drugs to be surrendered and uh, stay out of our landfills and out of our sewer systems. I hope we continue to do it. She does it twice a year. So there's once in the spring and once in the fall. Um, I just get all the households involved and make sure that everybody is taking stuff back that, that needs to be disposed of properly. Oh, sure. I'll save up my uh, unused medicines. Of course, I'm not sure that I'll have a lot, as many as much as I have now, actually, because I've been waiting for this to do it. But um, I'll continue to save it up and um, dispose of it in the right place from now on.